Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Lights and Perfection. You are here for another segment of Moment in the Word. My name is Chris. On this channel and in this ministry, what we try to do is bring to you the truth about biblical perfection and holiness to light through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And we do that by breaking into God's Word and pulling from it spiritual biblical principles that we can apply to our daily lives to deepen and enrich our lives in Christ. Let's get started. Today, I wanted to talk specifically about a new book. And just as a caveat here really quick before I get into this. I'm not trying to shill or push anything. If you want to get it, you want to get it. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate everyone's love and support in this. But I wanted to talk about some of the things that we do in doing these books and writing these books. I'm on book number three. The newest one is 40 Days Deepening Your Faith. And here it is right here. Here is a look at the cover. Um, so this book here says, In this 40-day journey, of detailed, inspired, and sound Bible teaching, you will discover a new depth to your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that you never imagined. You will dive deep into the mysteries of God and find a renewed life in Him. Each day is a deep Bible teaching in and of itself, so I urge you to find a quiet and cozy place, grab your Bible, and dig in. And so this book here, and I want to show you really quick, um, this is some stuff here. Um, so it's 40 chapters. Each day is a Bible teaching, not just like a quick devotional, but a Bible teaching. You're going to go through the depth to deepen your faith. Day one says about Ephesians 1, 15 through 16, For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. And I wrote here in this, and just to give you a, a quick teaser of what this book is and what's going to be in it, in this teaching, it says, Some of the most profound prayers I have noticed are the ones we see written in the Bible. I am continually amazed at the integrity and power with which some of these prayers were prayed. But what is an empowered prayer? So in this book, we go through day by day different passages of Scripture. We break them down in a way that can really connect us to God and deepen and enrich and enliven our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the main reason I wanted to jump on this video really quick is, of course, to share with you this new book, but also some of the other books. But one of the main reasons was a testimonial I received. And so if you don't know, a lot of the stuff that we do in this ministry it's, it's very versatile. There's so many different fields of unreached people, and we just want to be able to get those books into people's hands. We want to get these teachings into people's hands because it's really just about allowing the church to grow. And I just love the church with all my heart, and I love the Word of God, and I just want to see people grow in their faith. It's exciting for me. And so it's not about making money, but when you write a book, you got to sell the book, right? And I'll show you some of the reasons why and some of the proceeds from the books and where those, those proceeds go, one of which is into the prisons. It is my passion, as you know from previous videos. God called me out of darkness into light. That was the first book we wrote. It shares my story and testimony about where God called me from, and he called me from the depths of the prison. I mean, I was a criminal, I was an atheist, I was a hater of God, and I didn't want anything to do with Christianity. But while serving a six-year sentence, God called me out of darkness into his marvelous light, filled me with his spirit, and gave me purpose, meaning, and hope in him. And so that is my ambition, that is my drive, is to serve him and to be led by him. And so God led me to write this one, along with two other books. And so with sending those into prisons, we've sent hundreds of books into prisons. And I'm just so thankful to God. All glory does go to God for the work that he is doing. And so recently with this new book, I sent one. I've been writing a man in prison, in a federal prison, for over nine years to date. And I mean, it's it's been so cool watching this man grow. At first, he was he was very discouraged and, and, and doubtful and, and all those things. But watching him thrive, we've sent him study Bibles, commentaries, books, all sorts of stuff. And whenever we have books, we send them in and sometimes send him a couple and he spreads them around and shares them. But we just got a letter from him and this is so cool. It really blessed my heart. Here it is. He said, hey, Chris, wow, was I surprised to receive your new book of daily devotions. I'm only on day five, but I'm really enjoying them and learning a lot. Each lesson is just the right length to be used as a daily devotion and lesson. I'm impressed how mature your ministry has become over the years. And so this is somebody that's watched 
what we've done because he's been a recipient of what we've done. Now, of course, we don't charge people in prison to receive these books. Um, in fact, the money comes out of our own pocket from our own income that we earn on our daily life, right? In our work life. So it's, it's just a joy to be able to put these in people's hands and other books as well. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the website as well. And all the links for these books are in the description below. And you can also go to lightsandperfection.com. That link will be in the description as well, as well as in the description of the YouTube channel itself. Um, so here we are at the website and I just updated it here. Um, so this is the landing page. Uh, you can see Lights and Perfection. Uh, I've got a little video there. We're bringing the truth about biblical perfection and holiness to light through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, go and make disciples. That's what it's all about, deepening and enriching and enlivening the faith of the church so that we can go and make disciples because we're supposed to do that. That's what we do. Uh, so if you land on this page, you can click on what we do by come learn more. The video kind of tells you uh, the new book is right here on the website, but come learn more. And there's some of the other things. We are a teaching ministry. That's what we do. Uh, we got books. We got the YouTube channel. I mean, hundreds of videos in this channel alone um, that we just put out to help encourage the faith of the godly. And we just love to do that. Uh, we've got our social media accounts. Um, we're always available uh, through email as well. And so if anybody needs prayer, encouragement, or, you know, you go to our contact page. There it is right there. Contact us. You can go that and just, you know, do that. And then it sends it to my email and I can start to interact with you from that point on. But again, so if you hit the menu button, so we'll say we're on the home page, hit the menu button. We've got about us, the purpose, what we do, our books, teachings, blogs, and poems, because I write poetry as well, as well as some hymns and things of that nature. I've um, been working on that stuff as well. Uh, so our books, uh, there's three different books. This is the newest one, 40 Days Deepening Your Faith. Uh, this is the daily devotional. It's a 40 day daily devotional of in-depth Bible teaching, as you've seen over here. Uh, you see how day one there, um, then day two uh, builds on that passage in Ephesians. You can see day three continues to build on that because, you know, when you are a follower of Christ, there are ways to pray. There are things to pray. And I find that going into the scriptures and finding out what people like Paul prayed, I think those are the most empowered prayers we could ever pray, right? Instead of just praying what we think we should pray, we can go right to the word and pray from no word to the word and actually, you know, really have these in-depth conversations with God and really grow in our faith. I know for me in Ephesians 1, you know, there's a prayer there. There's there's one in Ephesians 3. There's some in Colossians. And you can see what Paul is praying for. And, you know, I started praying that over my loved ones and, and over myself. And I watched, I was like, wow, like God through his spirit is really giving me the answers to those prayers. So it's really cool. Um, then you go on further. There's more for Ephesians. So I spent a lot of time there. And then just other aspects as well about surrendering to the will of God and so forth. So there's just so much going on there. Again, back to this website here. That's 40 Days Deepening Your Faith. The first book that was written by us here is Out of Darkness Into Light. Hundreds of these books were handed to prisoners. Hundreds of them were given out uh, whenever we travel the country. You know those take a book, leave a books? I mean, we drop like 10 to 20 of them in there, um, have dropped them off at hospitals, um, anywhere, you name it. And so we just love to share those. We're not charging people for those, but the proceeds that come in from people actually buying them help us to be able to give those out. So it's, it's a twofold thing, right? This is a one way for us to build support. And again, it's not about getting rich. It's about sharing the gospel. That's what it's about. And this is one way that God has led us to do that. So Out of Darkness Into Light is a book detailing our testimony, my wife and I's testimony, um, where God called us from, what he's done in our lives, because he's done amazing works in our lives. He's totally transformed us from the inside out. And we're just so grateful for that. And then you go forward here. Uh, this book here is called Hezekiah Solution. Um, I wrote this back when I first started doing videos, actually. Uh, so my videos about it are kind of like rough because um, I didn't really understand when God led me to start doing videos on the YouTube channel to offer teachings to our brothers and sisters in Christ. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to set up a system to be able to do stuff like that. And so it was a learning process that God led me through. But here we are today, able to jump in front of a camera, do the thumbnails. And we do all this stuff on our own. Like I, there's no one helping. Right. It's just 
is just a guy in front of a camera, right? And my wife is so supportive and so amazing. Um, in fact, 40 days has been dedicated to her. Um, and I actually have the dedication page up here. Let me go back to it. Boom, there it is. So this book is dedicated to my amazing and beautiful wife who has been by my side for many years and many more to come. She has been an encouragement to me and I am truly grateful to God for bringing her into my life. And it's true because she has been so supportive of everything. She has always been by my side. Uh, this hasn't been an easy journey doing all this stuff when no one's coming alongside to help or, or really even check in on you. It's just, you're just following the leading of the Lord and saying, okay, God, we're going into new territory. We're just going to trust you. We know that it's not going to be a smooth ride. It's often like this. We think point A to point B, right? And we're like, okay, we're going to go from point A, then we're going to get to point B. No, it's not a straight line. It's sometimes you go up and then you go down and you're up and down and it's jagged and, and all those different things. And so it's, it's, it's not an easy road, right? Jesus himself said that. He said, you know, there is, there's a easy way and then there's a difficult way. The difficult way leads to life. The easy way leads to destruction. And so we just want to do our best to follow the leading of the Lord and to humble ourselves under his mighty hand that he would do the exalting while we cast all of our cares upon him. So here it is again, um, moving forward. Hezekiah solution was something that God had me write right before the pandemic. It was weird. Like God was, I was writing this stuff and it was so interesting how the Holy Spirit unfolded this. This is something that he gave me over the years. Um, and it's really cool. It's a really cool book. So if you want to check that out again, all the links are in the description as well as on the website. And you can go read a little bit about it. You can go to the Amazon and get them. But this year, God had me write about 2 Chronicles 29 and King Hezekiah in the temple reforms, right? And this was a really interesting topic that God kind of opened up for me. Um, and it's about the temple furniture, some of the furniture in there, like the lampstand, the, the, the burnt offering sacrifice altar. You had the, you know, the Ark of the Covenant and you had the altar of incense. You had these different aspects to the temple worship. And God was revealing to me spiritual parallels, but in a way that could be applied to our daily life. Because again, that's what we are about here is giving you something that you can take, you can mull it over, you can meditate on it, and God can use to bring out application of it in our lives. And so the purpose of Hezekiah Solution was to encourage the church because I think we've gotten off base on a lot of things like obeying God in the simplicity of faith, right? We seem to heap up rituals and traditions above our obedience to God. It is better to obey God than to sacrifice, right? And so we want to make sure that we are listening to God. And when you look at the disciples in the New Testament and you see how they walked with Jesus and how Jesus called them to go do this or to go do that or to stay and pray, you know, that is what it's about. It's not about just keeping up with a ritual. Don't get me wrong. Certain traditions are great and we should hold to those, but... What if God speaks into you and says, hey, but I want you to do something different this time? And so what? So many times, you know, I know that I've been challenged with that, where God will try to pull me out of my comfort zone or out of the box that I've built of religion. And, and it's hard to hear him because I feel like I'm doing something wrong if I don't adhere to the normal status quo, right? But, you know, if you look through history, church history, and you see people, some people God called out by themselves to go into a missionary field, to just pave the way, to pioneer the way. And they had a lot of loss and setbacks and heartbreaks in the process, but people were being reached. And so that's what we believe is just being obedient to whatever God's calling you to. He's not probably calling you to what he's calling me to, and he's not calling me to what he's calling you to. But we can mutually upbuild each other by understanding that and supporting each other. There's many gifts and graces within the church. The church isn't the local church. It is a universal body of Christ. The scriptures don't teach about denominations and things like that, right? And so I think we really need to come back to the heart of the gospel and understand what true love and unity towards each other looks like. But in this book, God uses those spiritual parallels to really build up faith and hope and encouragement in him and to teach obedience and really service, like real service to him. So I would definitely encourage you to check all those out. But again, here we are talking about 40 days deepening your faith out of darkness into light, Hezekiah solution, just the different things that we're doing here at this ministry. And again, I'm not just trying to come on here and be like, bye, 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 give, 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 because I will never ask for anything. I will never reach out to you and ask you for anything. That's just not our motto. That's not what we do. 
Um, I really believe in some of the people like you had people like uh, George Mueller and Hudson Taylor and these people in the past church history who just solely relied on God. They did what God called them to do. They did it the way God wanted them to do it, but they didn't run around asking people for anything. Um, you know, we're not supported by asking and fundraising and all that stuff. We're supported by what God gives us. That's it. It's just that simple. And so we do all of this just in obedience to God. No one's, no one's, you know, saying here, here, let me help. Let me do this. Let me do that. Right. So we're just here doing this, you know, and we believe in being inspired and led by the Holy Spirit. And so that's why we don't ask for things because God knows what we need. And if God wants us to have something, he will bring it into our lives. And we want to stay consistent with what we teach. We don't want to just talk about it. We want to live it. Right. And so that's really important to us. So again, I just wanted to do this video really quick just to kind of show you some of the things we have going on. Um, this letter from this prisoner, I mean, really just blew me away. Um, he's a man of God. I've watched him grow in his faith. And I just want to continue to support people like that, right? Even if it's just a one-on-one -on -one situation. But over the nine years that I've been writing him, I've had hundreds of letters, you know, and, and just... Just watching the Holy Spirit bring people closer to him is so encouraging to me because it's not about us. It's about him. It is only about him. Well, I hope you can be encouraged by these teachings. I hope that you can get involved any way you can. You know, maybe you can get these and these these devotionals, um, for instance, you know, they're really, really cool because you can use them as a daily devotional, but you can also use them in your home groups. You can use them as Bible studies at your churches or wherever, or just in your own personal journey, uh, because there is a lot of meat in there. We don't believe in, in feeding milk. We want to feed meat, but in a way that can bring people that are on milk closer to Christ, because that's what we're about here. Well, I hope this has blessed you, and I'm just really encouraged uh, for all your support, you guys subscribing, liking, commenting, all those types of things. We want to continue to do this. We want to continue to lift up the name of Jesus, because that is all that matters, right? God bless you guys. I'm out.